the snow that's fallen, it is a welcome relief for our rising fire danger. The reality, though, is it's likely just a short reprieve. El Paso County leaders today underline concerns about the ongoing wildfire forecast. Bill Folsom attended that briefing. He joins us on the west side with an update. Bill? Yeah, Rob, snow, now the rain that's coming down, and we've had people asking, well, does this mean I can now use my charcoal grill? The answer is no. The fire ban, it remains in place because once this stops, the fire danger, it's supposed to go back up quickly. Cold and snow in late May is the hot topic in Southern Colorado. Let's talk about the weather we just recently had. We just had a ton of moisture. The conversation from El Paso County is a reality check. A reminder from before and look beyond the temporary deep layer of wet snow. We were uh, encountering huge fire risk prior to that, and we are certainly going to have a lot of fire risk uh, going forward. There is a call to avoid discounting the danger. We need to take this serious. Fires before the snow were fueled by vegetation, in some cases drier than the lumber with moisture removed in a kiln. Remember, they were extremely dry. They were 7% uh, before the rains. Uh, they're going to recover a little bit, but they're going to drop right back down again. As plants rehydrate, they'll green up and grow. Some ask if the newly enacted burn ban will go away. The decision on that looks to the forecast beyond this one wet week. Right now the prediction is we're going to start getting real warm after this after this short week of rain and we're going to be right back up in the 80s and 90s and so the key thing is they're going to keep it in place. The burn ban remains. And that means no open burning. And these leaders are concerned there are still many in the community that are not fully grasping the fire threat. They refer to the peak alert system that everybody's been asked to sign up for. Well, during the fires, they did have a spike, about 6,200 people sign up, and that is a lot in a short time. But if you look big picture, that's only about 1% of our population, and the total sign up, it's only at 10%. In El Paso County, Bill Folsom, News 5. Bill.